we think is a very significant discovery of a historical high school football game footage film. As you'll see in a moment, there is a specific reason that we are making this announcement this week, today, before the annual Marshall versus Longview rivalry game that takes place this coming Friday night uh, here in Longview. And I'll tell you what that reason is in just a moment. First of all, let me uh, introduce myself. I'm David Cotham. And with the support of many people, especially Van, uh, Betty, and Chris Craddock and their family, we were able a few years ago to publish our son's uh, uh, book, Friday Night Howl, The History of the Longview Lobos High School Football by Jeremy Cotham. And in his history book, Jeremy described the Longview versus Marshall rivalry this way. I wanna read it to you. The beginning, 1909, football comes to Longview and a rivalry is born. Longview High School football began on a cold Thanksgiving day in a baseball park. No one on that November 25th, 1909, Longview High School versus Marshall contest could have imagined that the Longview Maverick game would become, at the time Jeremy wrote this, the third longest running high school football rivalry in the state of Texas. I think it is now the second, but I'll leave that to the press guys to look up. Under the headline football team, the November 4th, 1909, Longview Times Clarion reported Longview, always ahead of the possession, now has a first-class football team. The previous week, the Dallas Morning News had announced Longview. The Longview football team desires a game at this place on Thanksgiving Day with the same football team Marshall preferred. Address E.E. E. Munsell for arrangement. Marshall High School, which had been playing football for several years, quickly accepted the challenge from Longview. The game will be played at Browns Park, an 800-seat wooden baseball stadium. The facility owned by R.G. Brown had opened in July of 1908 as the home to the Longview Cannibals, the local semi-pro baseball.